Hey everyone, welcome to another Goody Reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to show you the PDF experience on the new Apple iPad Air. Now this is the latest generation tablet. It is actually the fifth generation model. And many people send us emails saying, how is the PDF experience on this? Is it a good e-reader? No pun intended. We're going to show you exactly how it looks. We're looking at uh, the Dungeons and Dragons, the plane above, Secrets of the Astral Sea. So this is a, a very complex PDF document and it features both images, text, and both of them on a single page. Now the cool thing about reading PDFs on the Apple iPad Air is that you can actually go to a PDF using the Safari browser and look at the PDF using the built-in rendering engine into Safari. But an option actually appears at the top that says read in iBooks and it'll actually save that document into your iBooks library in which you can access it anytime and engage in reading. So let's take a look at the overall reading experience. So we've opened up this PDF so you can kind of get a sense on how everything looks. Unlike magazines, you can pinch and zoom PDFs on the iPad. Yeah. So you can see that this PDF, some are full screen images. Some are just, you know, two different uh, margins of text. I mean, that's really why we use these complex PDFs, because you get things like a mix of nothing but text like this, and then you go and maybe there's a full screen image, and then there's a mix of both. Right. Like that one. That's a good piece of uh, artwork there, too. Look at that. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's cool. I think it's essential to have a larger screen device when you're reading PDFs, because it more represents a piece of standard, like, 8.5 by 11 paper. But if you read it on something like a 7-inch Kindle, you have to end up pinching and zooming because you can't read anything. Right. So you could uh, double tap on a specific area to like zoom in. So as you saw, if I want to zoom in on, say, this margin, I can just click like this and read it all the way down. Fairly intuitive. And then I can scroll over and I get the exact... Um, Everything is orientated properly, so I'm not having to like go like this to read. Everything is just presented here, and that's thanks to the 9.7 inch screen. So you can see here that I could do a fast view. Unlike when you purchase a Dungeons and Dragons guide, you don't have these convenient thumbnail kind of uh, images to let you know what's in the book because you have to scroll through the book manually in the real copy. Right. Um, I could, you know, using iBooks, you can also dim and make the screen brighter depending on your viewing environment. You can hit the magnifying glass to look up a specific word. So I could try looking for the word Get the Yankee and see if I can find that. Oh! And it, you know, yeah. even though it, this is basically a PDF, it can actually look up the word. So I can go to, you know, I see an endless uh, thing here. Apparently, get the Yankees in the astral plane. And there it is highlighted right there. Yeah. So all in all, I mean, I'm very happy with the way PDFs look on uh, the Apple iPad. And again, there is a default rendering engine with um, a Safari, and then you can do it here. Now you can notice that the more that you zoom, and you can zoom in pretty good, there's pixelation. Now this is mainly because this PDF is a scanned image. You can copy and paste text that you long press on the PDF itself. You can even pull up the dictionary and define things. Now that was an entire paragraph, but if you click on something, Like just a word, you can define it. And there you go. Cool. So lots of functionality in this. Um, I dig Apple iBooks, but of course you don't have to rely exclusively on this program. It just it comes with the iPad, but you can download your favorite PDF reader. 
no matter what it is, whether it's Adobe or whether it's like a third party. So um, any comments, concerns, drop them on this video. And if you have any ideas for future videos, let us know. And for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care. A lot of you guys were asking about the PDF and magazine experience on all of these tablets that we've reviewed in the past. iPad Air, Cobalt 10, Kindle line of new HDX tablets. Really hope that helps. Uh, we went through magazine experience and PDF experience, just showing you what they look like on each one. Um, I know we have already reviewed those and we've included that in there, but we wanted to do a dedicated video with just that particular part of the experience pulled out and kind of like an in-depth look. For more videos, you can visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodereader. We have over 780 videos at this point, and please comment, please share a video, and please subscribe because that keeps us going, and when we keep going, we keep dishing out awesome content for you guys. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, and remember, Goody Reader number one.